Hello everyone, and welcome back aboard the Aviation and Nautical Masters channel. What if I told you that the National Guard is older than the US Air Force? It's true. The National Guard dates back to 1636, when the Massachusetts Bay Colony established the first militia regiments. In contrast, the Air Force was formed as a separate military branch only on September 18th, 1947. That gives the National Guard nearly 350 years of history, while the Air Force has just over 75 years under its belt. This might be the first time you've heard this, but the National Guard consists of everyday heroes, teachers, firefighters and nurses, ready to act immediately. But what's the difference between these two vital forces? How do their responsibilities shift during wartime versus emergencies? The US military is a well-oiled machine with many branches. While most people know about the full-time active duty Air Force, few truly understand the vital role of the Air National Guard ANG. In this video, we'll explore how these two branches, each with unique missions, responsibilities and structures, complement each other to ensure that America's air power stays unmatched at home and abroad. Picture this, you're a high school teacher or maybe a firefighter. Your weekdays are spent in classrooms or saving lives. But once a month, you swap your everyday clothes for a military uniform and train with the Air National Guard. You're not just practicing for fun, but preparing for real life missions. But what's unique about the ANG is that it serves two masters, your state and the federal government. Every U.S. state has its own Air National Guard units under the governor's control. Let's say a hurricane hits your state. Who do you think gets the call? The ANG. They're there for emergency relief, search and rescue operations, and evacuation support. Remember Hurricane Katrina in 2005? ANG units were critical, airlifting civilians to safety and providing vital relief during one of the most catastrophic storms in U.S. history. Federal mission, but that's only half the story. The president can also call on the ANG for federal missions, like the regular Air Force. So you could work your regular job one week and be deployed overseas the next, supporting combat missions, humanitarian efforts, or peacekeeping operations. ANG pilots have flown combat missions in Iraq and Afghanistan side by side with their full-time counterparts. Now, let's flip to the Che US Air Force. These folks are the full-time warriors of the sky. This isn't a weekend job. It's a 24-7 year-round commitment. They're constantly ready to be deployed anywhere worldwide at a moment's notice. The Air Force's the primary mission is to maintain global air superiority. That means everything from striking enemy targets to providing reconnaissance and surveillance or transporting troops and equipment. Wherever there's a conflict or need around the globe, Germany, South Korea, the Middle East, 
The Air Force is already there, stationed and ready. Here's where things get interesting. Even though the Air Force is always on duty, they often need help from the ANG. Say a crisis occurs in a foreign country and the President orders a military response. The Air Force jumps into action. But guess who's also getting the call? Those part-time warriors of the ANG. So, while some were teaching a class or working at the local hospital, now they're deploying alongside active duty personnel, offering fresh aircraft, pilots and support. This integration of part-time and full-time forces makes the US military incredibly versatile. When the Air Force needs more manpower or planes, the ANG step us up. Think of it as having a backup team trained as rigorously as the Air Force. But they bring the added advantage of being spread out across every state. You might wonder, are Air National Guard pilots and airmen trained the same as those in the Air Force? Absolutely. They go through the same basic training and attend the same technical schools. Whether an ANG pilot or an Air Force pilot, they're flying the same cutting-edge aircraft using the same equipment, like the F-16 or the KC-135 tanker. The only real difference? The ANG pilot might come home after their mission, put away their flight suit and head to their day job. Pretty wild, right? The Air National Guard isn't just a reserve force sitting on the sidelines. In today's modern warfare, the line between active duty forces and the ANG is blurred. During the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, thousands of ANG members were called to active duty. They flew missions, conducted combat air patrols, and provided critical air support working side by side with the Air Force. Take ANG transport aircraft, for example. They were responsible for moving troops and gear in and out of war zones, ensuring operations ran smoothly. ANG pilots even flew close air support missions covering ground forces during intense battles. One of the ANG's biggest advantages is that it's incredibly cost-effective. Maintaining a part-time force that can be called up when needed costs a fraction of what it takes to maintain a full-time active duty force. This setup allows the US to keep a large, well-trained force on standby without the financial burden of supporting a full-time military year-round. Let's say an ANG unit is deployed for a month-long mission overseas. The cost of activating them for that mission is much lower than if they were full-time active duty, working and training all year. This balance gives the military flexibility in both manpower and budget, and it makes it ready for any situation without overspending. In short, the Air National Guard and the US Air Force are like two sides of the same coin. The ANG brings flexibility, operating locally and globally, responding to everything from natural disasters to combat operations. The Air Force provides full-time global air power, ensuring that America is always ready to defend its interests anywhere in the world. Together, they form the ultimate partnership whether rescuing hurricane victims in Texas or flying combat missions in the Middle East, the Air National Guard and the Air Force are always ready to keep America safe. They use the same training, the same equipment and the same planes, all to ensure that the US stays strong, no matter what. If you found this breakdown of the Air National Guard and the US Air Force partnership interesting, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And hey, what do you think about part-time soldiers playing such a critical role in our national defense? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned 
for more deep dives into military strategy and operations.